back. Well, what if we told you there was a computer software program that could determine whether someone has breast cancer with 99.1% accuracy? And even more amazing, if we told you the creator of that software is barely old enough to drive. ABC 7's Fallon Silcox joins us now with that story. Fallon? Lauren, Brittany Wanger is a junior at the Out of Door Academy, and she's worked on the software for over a year. Now, she says, it's finally hospital ready. Brittany Wanger seems to be your average high school student. She runs track, plays soccer, and participates in school activities. And there's one more thing that Brittany does. She also creates potentially life-saving computer software. I created a computer program that's an artificial neural network. Artificial neural networks are programmed to think like the brain and model the brain's neurons and their interconnections so that it can detect patterns that are far too complicated for programmers to know how to tell it to detect it. Brittany applied the program to breast cancer. Cancer is something that touches all of us and it's really important. And I've had a lot of experiences with family members who have had cancer, and I actually want to be a pediatric oncologist when I grow up. Basically, Brittany says doctors take a non-invasive biopsy, then enter the information into the program she created. And it takes that information, analyzes it, and determines whether a person has cancer. I think it might be hospital ready. I'd love to get more data from different doctors. Right now I have 700 test samples. And while that's impressive in itself, Neil Phillips, who's head of upper school, says Brittany's accomplishments go beyond the realm of science. She's a great citizen. She's just kind and personable and soft-spoken, um, confident. Uh, she's just a good kid in all the ways that you, you mean when you say that. And when Brittany thinks of her software actually being used in hospitals to treat patients one day... It'd be incredible and I would... I think more importantly it means for everybody who would be using this it'd be a lot less invasive for them. But yeah, it'd be amazing. <laughs> Brittany says it wasn't until her third attempt that she actually got the software working. She says one of the most important lessons she's learned through the process is that you have to be able to accept failure and learn from it. Lauren. Wow, where do I sign up for the Brittany fan club? Love her. <laughs> Thanks, Fallon. Well, Cedar Hammock.